Just a few hours ago, this warehouse in Cheatham Hill was stacked high with boxes and boxes of counterfeit goods. Police have got a running total of the goods they've seized so far, and it's around a million pounds. They've obviously still got a way to go, and they've been here since six o'clock this morning. Those goods could have ended up on the streets of Cheatham Hill being sold, and that money, of course, would have ended up funding further criminality. This is serious to organised crime at the highest level talking millions of pounds a week being made by these people. They're not keeping it in this country, they're not paying taxes, they're pushing it back out to the countries they largely come from, which is like Afghanistan, Syria, Libya. If you think of what's gone on in those countries recently, it's not too far a stretch to say the money that you're paying is probably going towards some terrorist activity back in those countries. So this is the electricals, which are probably the main concern in terms of safety. Apple AirPods, you know, retail probably two hundred pounds for those ones. These are phone cases, branded as Gucci. Oh, these are pajamas. Oh, they are nice pair of Gucci pajamas. <laughs> most of the stuff uh, comes to this country as, as non-brand and is then branded in this country right. as fake. Just as we were about to leave the warehouse, officers found a bag containing twenty thousand pounds in cash, showing just how lucrative an illegal operation like this can be. The, the hiding it one because it's criminal money. Um, so somebody came through here, they'd want to take it, clearly they haven't found it. They can't put it in the bank, because if they did, it would flag up as um, an illegal transaction, which would alert them also to their criminality. And they will probably send it ab abroad. Clearly, it shows how much money they're able to make from, you know, it's a big enterprise, this. That's just a drop in the ocean in terms of what they're earning. Well, this police activity this morning comes under the umbrella of Operation Vulcan, which is tackling serious organised crime across Greater Manchester. It's exactly the kind of police work that the Home Secretary has given further funding to today.